didn't think I could overcome, but now I believe in myself, I definitely deserve to be in top two. Josh and Christine and I, we're all in the top three for a reason, but I don't want to just be in the top three. I came here to leave the winner with that trophy in my hand. Christine got the first pick. She chose chicken. Which one would you have picked? Definitely for me, it would have been the chicken. I think it's the most versatile. You can use the skin, the bone, the meat. Joe, I would have definitely done a roasted lamb deglazed with anchovies and red wine vinegar. So good. That sounds great. I would have gone for the frog's legs. Okay. Dusted with lemon powder, a little bit of cayenne, and a little touch of paprika. I think I use the advantage to the best of my ability because I've never cooked frog legs, so I wanted to stick with something that I know and can be tasty. I actually pick lamb legs myself because this complements my style of cooking. I think it's great that Becky got the frog legs because she's going to be out of her comfort level. The pressure right now is on Becky. Mm -hmm. She's never tasted a frog leg. She's never cooked a right. frog leg. Josh was trying to trip me up for sure, you know? But I got to believe in myself and I just got to focus right now and not mess up. We're competing to enter into the final two, the finale of MasterChef. I want to see complex dishes, I want to see technique, I want it all. Right, Christine, what's the dish? I'm going to do just like southern fried chicken. But how are you going to refine it in a way that it stands out and lands that place in the final? Just fry it to perfection with the right batter and then serve it with a cream kale that tastes good and, you know, the balance of the texture of the two different components together. Good luck. Josh, what's the dish? What's the dish? Cara mignoles. Can you explain what a cara mignola is to me? I'm going to take a yuca root, boil it, You're gonna smash take it. Yeah. I'm going to put some chopped corn in there and cilantro. Then I'm going to stuff it with braised lamb meat. And you've made this before? I have. Is this your dad's recipe? Um, well, my dad made me eat it when I was going, used to go to Panama when I was younger. Now you're going to make us eat it. <laughs> you got enough time to make it? I do. You do? Yes. You sure? Yes. Usually a leg of lamb braises for seven hours. My strategy is to braise the lamb in a pressure cooker. It's the only way I can get it done in an hour. I think it's gonna come down to the wire. All right, guys, let's go. Woo! Becky, Hello. how you doing? I'm doing well. Cooking frog's legs is sometimes more difficult than cooking fish as a protein. Yeah. It overcooks within seconds, it goes dry. Okay. So it's a very delicate, dainty protein. Right. Understand it properly. Okay. What are you doing? I'm going to do confit potatoes, then I'm going to do pan fried frog legs with garlic and butter and just make a little fresh salad. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. She's awesome. All right, guys, 15 minutes to go. Oh, man, it's good. Christine, Becky, Josh, only two of you are going into the MasterChef final. Come on. Christine. Who's going home tonight? I think that if Becky can really kind of ramp it up again, I think Christine might be a bit in jeopardy because Josh is like a freight train full of uh, speed right now. You're all coming into your last 10 minutes. Come on. The lamb has been cooking for a long time, and it should be cooked by now. I'm running out of time. Let's see if it's ready. Is that cooked, Josh? Let me see. No. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's cooked. I don't know how that guy pulls it out of the bag. I won't have time to let it cool and shred it, so I'm just gonna have to chop it up, stuff it in the yuca, and fry it. Come on, Josh. Yeah, this is like my total eating. Hurry, Josh, hurry. Every moment counts. Let's go. Focus. Two and a half minutes to go. Come on. Come on, guys. Woo! Remember what's at stake. Oh, wow, Christina. Christina, it looks delicious. Thanks, guys. How's Becky doing? Well, she's kicking butt, man. Yeah. Come on, Josh. I'm letting it fry to the last possible moment. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Come on, 59 minutes gone. One minute to go. Fry him. <laughs> Josh, you've got to plate. Get him out, big man. Get him out. Come on, let's Josh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three.
overview will be going on to the MasterChef finale. For one of you, you've just cooked for the very last time inside the MasterChef kitchen. We cannot wait to taste these amazing dishes. Christine, let's go. Fried chicken, this better be amazing. Right. What is it? Um, I did like a southern style buttermilk battered fried chicken with creamed kale. You know, what can you do with the drum? I mean, you can't bone it out, you can't stuff it. It has to be fried, roasted. Christine, to get you into the final, this had better be a bloody good fried chicken, let me tell you. So the seasoning around the chicken is what? Paprika, cayenne, thyme, and sage and blood orange. <sighs> Christine is delicious. The seasoning is absolutely perfect. Thank you. It's got the heat in there, it's crispy, it's moist inside, and it's cooked perfectly. I love it. I was a bit nervous about the blood orange aspect, especially that sort of fragrant blood orange. Thank you, chef. What would I change? A little less cream in the kale. Okay. Because you've got the tomatoes and the onions, and with that cream in there, it's almost over-masked. Okay. But the fried chicken was delicious. Thank you, chef. Modern, home, comfort food. I mean, only you could glamorize a drumstick. Let me tell you. Thank you. Christine, how you doing? I'm nervous. Jealous up here. Yeah. That's delicious. Thank you. It's cooked perfectly. Being able to, to use blood orange, buttermilk, trying to impart some acidity that comes from the zest. It really works with the spices that you chose. Thank you. I would say the only thing that I would do to change the greens is less of that creaminess. The chicken is absolutely badass. Okay, Good job. Thank you, chef. As far as fried chicken goes, it's quite good. Thank you. It's crunchy. It's moist on the inside. The kale's cooked well. Well, you blanched it, and I saw you put it in nice. It's got a perfect crunch to it. It's got a nice consistency, um, but it's just too creamy. Can you taste the ratio when you put it in your mouth? How much? How creamy that kale is? Um, I actually was pulling the kale out, and when I was plating it, I was trying to strain the cream out. So you, you know there's too much cream in there? Uh, well, now I know. But you knew that when you plated it? Mm. So you didn't taste it? So my fried chicken gets pretty rave reviews from all three judges, so I'm really happy about that. But my cream kale, they say, is too creamy, so I am worried that the cream kale could send me home. All right, coming up next, the person that had the second pick of the legs, that is Josh. Come on, Josh. Damn, this is a sexy plate. This is the kind of dish that Becky should be taking pictures of. <laughs> what did you make? I made leg of lamb carne manoles with mango salsa, tomato salsa, and a tomatillo salsa. We're cooking to get into the finale. You pick leg of lamb, and then you bring me this. This is the last recipe in the last page in the last chapter of the lamb cookbook. Mm. It's so risky. Yucca, starchy, difficult to work with, braising lamb in under an hour. Why take all those risks? I felt like I could do it. I've never eaten anything quite like this. It's crispy without being doughy. And your lamb is tender. Your sauces are pure. They scream of their ingredients. Once again, Josh, you've astounded me. Because this is really quite delicious. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you, sir. Kill it. Straight up, 